What's going on guys, it's Jake back at it again here for another beer review. So I'm in kind of a hurry, so this is going to be a quick review. So today I decided to review Hop Stupid by Lagunitas. I don't think I did this before. Um, I don't know if I, I think I only maybe reviewed like one Lagunitas. But anyways guys, so you guys know um, Lagunitas is out of California in Chicago now. Hop Stupid, a lot of you guys have probably had. It's an okay beer, you know, I've had it many times. Um, I really don't know what to say about it, so I decided again to go look up some reviews just to tell you guys what other people say. Because it's sweet and has a lot of hops and pininess, but there's there's not really a lot else that I can say. So people say, you know, bitterness, citrus, pine, sweetness, grapefruit, bitter orange, lemony, grapefruit again, um, let's see. Pineapple, honey, apricot, vanilla. Wow. These people should be doing these reviews, not me. <laughs> Either way, guys, let's get, uh, let's get back into it. So, 8%. So, of course, you know, this is going to be a heavier beer. Drink a couple of these. Be careful. Um, I mean, I've had this beer a couple times. It's okay. Today, I felt like having something completely different, so that's why I got it. Um, but I've had this on a couple of occasions, and imagine the, the Lagunita sucks without the brown sugar. And that's probably a good way to put this, you know? If you want it in front of me, ask. But anyways, guys. It's got smell. Ooh, right off the bat, ooh. It is super really full of hops, man. Jesus. Ugh, just a lot of hops and aromas just coming up to the surface, you know? Definitely not outdated, but I mean, this is fading away pretty fast. But um, the place that I go to, I've seen this six pack sitting there for like two weeks now at least. So I already kind of knew that. Whatever, though. No big deal. But anyways, I get a little bit of pineapple. Just a little bit. Pine. And the most, the, the, the strongest thing about this beer that I think personally is it has this honey sweetness to it. You know what I'm talking about? And I really don't know how to describe it other than that. It's just a very resiny, sweet, rich, um, like honey, you know, you know what I'm saying? Thick, rich, sweetness, molasses type. You, you guys know where I'm going with this. But, yeah, not a whole lot else. I don't smell grape, or, um, yeah, no grapefruit. I don't smell lemon, you know, mangoes, none of that stuff. Oh, let's see if I, oh, that sucks, but let's see if I can get a big whiff and get something else out of this. No? Can't really say I do. No maltness either, just ridiculous amount of hops and sweetness and a little pine, but I mean, hey, those are three mixtures you can't complain about. So let's go. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's refreshing. That's a beer that you want on a hot summer day, I'm telling you. Yeah, maybe, you know, it's 8%, so it might be too high in the summer, but in taste-wise, and drinking this really cold, it it's not bad. It's very refreshing. It's a good beer. Right off the bat, I get the resin, or sorry, the, the pine is the strongest, and then that sweetness, maybe, or that resinous taste that goes with it. A little bit of pineapple, not too much. And I'm trying to add because there's really not a lot to this beer. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you guys it all. There's not a lot. Um, just the hops, you know. I mean, I don't think it says what type of hops on here. I can look. Um, it just says clean this mess up or else we'll all end up in jail. 
he was referring to the supercritical CO2 hop extraction equipment in the brew house. But he but wrong he was. So this the sinuous honey like amber ooze was administered. Um let's see. Intravenously to the work to the worked kettle with a massive dose of dry hops, the sacrament was complete. So yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't say just all I know is that they dry hop the fuck out of this beer, basically. You know? Um, probably took a lot of work in making this beer. Not too bad. Life is uncertain. Don't sip. I like that. I like that. Anything can happen at any time. Take that, take that, take that gulp of beer and enjoy life. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta go so really quick. Again, pine number one, and then that honey, um, what did they say on here? This might help me. Honey like amber ooze, whatever, just a, a honey, like you say, that's the color. Just a honey, rich molasses sweetness, and a lot of hops, a lot of hops. This is definitely not a wheat beer. Um, if I took a whole bunch of big gulps of this, man, I'd probably be, you know, coughing or something. Just it's hoppy. It it has almost like that spiciness to it that's strong. So if you take a lot, it's not going to be good. But overall, overall, or um, overall, I can't talk today. I'm just I'm out of it from WrestleMania, guys. I knew it was going to suck, so I went out and just parted myself up. I probably drank too much beer. Um, I feel like crap today. But it's over, so I'm happy about that. Um, whole new year. I don't even know if I'm gonna watch as much as I used to. I just, I'm all out of it. My desire went down the drain last night. A lot of you guys probably agree with me. Um, but anyway, overall, well balanced beer. Um, out of 10, I would probably give this beer. See, I don't want to be critical, but again, you know, I'm, I'm harsh when it comes to this, so. I'm going to give it a six and a half or a seven. I don't like going in the middle. I feel like giving it a six, I would be a dick. Giving it a seven might be a little too much because it's, it's, a, eh, it's an okay beer. Um, but either way, it's a really good beer. You're going to enjoy this beer if you get this beer. You're not going to regret it. Um, oh, yeah, I got the six-pack for uh, $11. So I don't know where it is by you guys. Because it's Lagunitas, I wouldn't go to a bigger store and buy it because it's going to be more money. Like, if I go to the Meyer by me, it's like 15 bucks for, for a six-pack. You know, and that's just like it is, which usually isn't that much. So imagine, like, sculpting on that, like 20 bucks, not even worth it. Um, but this is a good beer, $11, not too much. And, again, 8, you know, 8% beer, and it comes with six of them. So that's cool, no four-pack BS. But overall, I'll probably give this, uh, nah, I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to give it a seven. It's not a bad beer. It's just not my style. It's kind of like when, you know, there's something that, I don't know, everyone has this, you know, music or whatever. Something that you're not, it's not your style, but you know it's good. You know, and people are going to enjoy it. It's just not really what you want to do, you know. Um, that's probably a good way to sum this beer up for me. You guys may love it. Some of you guys may hate it. I don't know. But for me, it's okay. It's in the middle, you know. This is a beer where um, if I need some beer and I couldn't think and I'd just go get whatever. If this is all I had, I wouldn't complain. It'd be okay. Um, so, yeah, seven. Seven out of ten for sure. Definitely get to see. So, like I these guys, Hop Stupid, Hop Stupid Ale, 8%. Again, 11 bucks for me for a six-pack. Seven out of ten, not bad. You're just going to get a lot of... A lot of pine, a lot of hops, and just a lot of that resinous, a little honey sweetness to it, which, A, like I was saying, it's not really a bad mixture. You know, that, um, that stone beer I had, that was pretty awful. Let me tell you, I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth. Brush my teeth, like, twice in the morning, just disgusted. Um, but that is it, guys. I'm gonna go catch Raw. Hardy Boys around there, so I wanna see what's going on. It might be, you know, one of the only Raws I'm gonna watch this year, who knows. But I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you enjoy the review. Please hit that subscribe button, and I will be back. I'm finally getting comments now. People are finally responding, so hopefully this channel gets boosted. I think I have, like, 25 videos out now, which is not bad. I thought I only had, like, six or seven. So it's, like, you know, the less time, and as long as I don't, you know, put too much into this. I think it's going to it's gonna flow pretty smoothly. 
So I'm happy. So thank you guys uh, for supporting me and for being there. I am Jake. Have a good night. Love you all. Peace.